While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Okay, so what I've been noticing in this specific situation is the fact that no matter how close I try to get near this one particular boy, for some reason, this old head here does not want me to get near him. And I don't even know why. So my best bet is to probably ask one of these kids on what to do. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Really? Only he's able to see Johnny. I don't know if that's suspicious or maybe there's a reason why he's only able to see him. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. How? He's bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails. Yuck. Johnny eats snails, he's in the woods, and only this kid sees him. Either he's some sort of a weird demon, and Granny has every right to tell him to stay away, or he could be a lost kid. Who knows? Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us and we'll disappear. Strangers will take you guys? But if that's the case, where would you guys go? And I really doubt anyone's gonna find this place. I mean, yeah, I found it, but that's not the point. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Johnny looks like the kid? Does that not bring any suspicion? I know it does with me. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Please. Right. But you've gotta do something for us too. Okay. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's play. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks Deal? he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two. They don't even know I'm a witcher. Three, oh, this is gonna be easy. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, I see one. I see one hiding. Wait, wait, what's this? Hold on. Hold on. What's this? DD, wait, D Dogs Vlogs, best viewers on. Aw, oh, man, you mean to tell me I have another bot on my stream? You suck. You suck. You know what? Ban this guy. Banned. You suck. I want people to interact with me on my chat. Stop posting spam. Damn. Makes me sad. It's like y'all don't even want to talk to me tonight. Anyways. For my YouTube viewers out there. Lover of ladies here. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below. Because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Also follow me on my Twitch at LoverOfLadies69. Oh, Gran is right there in the corner. Can I take this? Thank you. So clearly... 
these kids went to the window? Okay. Say less. I got you. I'm gonna win this hide and seek game. You'll see. Okay, so they went by the window and they went over here. Question is. Oh, I found you! Found you. You can stop hiding. Oh, well, we can't always win. That's part of life, Missy. Get over it. Next. So, she's found, which means the second kid has to be over here somewhere. And they're obviously not in this house, but they're... Oh, are they up on the roof? Oh, they're up on the roof, all right. How am I supposed to get up, though? That's the thing. Can I actually get up? Can I jump or no? No, I can't. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can, like, go inside. Wait. The trails. Ah! There you go. I can see you. Yep, number two. Now I just need to find two more little kids. Where are you? Where are you? I found the first two. <gasps> Wait a minute. Someone's hiding? Oh, this is going to be so funny. Blast. No? I can't do a blast. Well, I'm not going to burn them. Come here. I can't really do a blast, huh? Found you. You can stop hiding. Aw, these kids are salty because I'm actually winning the game. Oh, I love this. I know this was going to be the easiest hide-and-seek game of all time. Alright, so we have one kid left question is where are you hiding wait I see oh this way okay so you're inside this house huh got you found you every last one but you found me last so let's go back to the cottage can we tell him I let you find me? All right, kids. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. So squeal! Didn't we? Promise, didn't we? Okay, I respect that. Gran! Get Gran away. Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse. I mean, Gran! that's a good excuse. Come! All right, here's my chance. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. Come on, man. Yes, you. you do. Talk to me. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. So You're then all tell me. Of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come around no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. Oh, someone's been stealing she kids. She about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I bet she's only saying that so this kid doesn't have a reason to go find him again. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Oh, wow. Others were killed. Oh, like I'm so sorry, honey. We went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, 
I heard the yells. Then laughing went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled. And the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? Oh no. And then my mum It's alright. Oh enough. baby, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry you had to see that. Oh my gosh. If I could, I would give this kid a hug. He he didn't deserve to see that. This is disgusting. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? I promise. He's, he's real. He's not made up. I believe you. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. Now, we definitely need to find this Johnny guy. Because he definitely has seen Suri, for sure. Who Ooh. said ask? Hey, eh? ugly word, ugly. Don't cry, Yagna. Yagna's a stupid pig. No callings not allowed. <laughs> she says when I fall asleep, rats will come and eat my eyes. What? These kids are bullying I'll, each other. I'll stand here till you apologize to her and to me. Oh. Got time. Oh. Sorry. Ain't no rats gonna eat your eyes. Apologies mean treats to please a belly needing to be put at ease. These kids are hilarious. They bully each other. And then the grandma just stands there, just shakes her head and says, I have all day, so apologize. I love it. Oh gosh, it's them. You know what this means. I'm ready. Come here, drowner. There you go. There you go. Come on. Thank you. What the heck is this? A water hag? Oh, this is crazy. I didn't even know a thing like that exists. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Yo, this hag has her titties hanging out. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, she's ugly as hell. Look at this. Her titties are hanging out. And her poom pooms out too. Oh, man. Am I going to get reported? I hope not. That's not my fault. These monsters don't know how to clothe themselves. Johnny. Johnny, where are you? Where is this kid? Johnny. Where? I don't even know what I'm looking at, actually. Wait, hold on. Johnny? <gasps> A footprint. Ooh. So he is real. Small He's definitely footprint. real. Johnny's been through here. All right, Johnny. I'm coming for you. How much do you want to bet it's either a small old demon or maybe a dwarf? Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. There you go, there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Horrible, horrible. Let's go. Let's go. First of all, some nerve. Come on. Thank you. Oh, this is bad. They really took a chunk of my health. If I'm having this much trouble walking through these main grasslands, I can only imagine the things Johnny has to go through. Alright, Johnny. Fingers crossed that you're still alive because it would suck if you are wasted by the time I see you. Yeah, I could see why Gran would want the kids to stay away. They could have gotten killed by these monsters. 
Come on. I'm just trying to increase my health as much as possible, just in case if I run into any drowners again. Where is this kid? Or demon, or trickster dwarf. <gasps> Tracks lead to a burrow. I wonder what's inside. Johnny? All right. Dwarf, demon. Ooh. Don't be afraid. Wow, what a very interesting creature. You're a bucka? What's a bucka? A lutin? Oh. Ah, a godling. What is that? Have any of you left? I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why? Why? Are you a mute? Why not? He's a mute. He can't talk. This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? He's one... Wait. You're a bigger monster? That's cute. You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. They told me about you. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? What? That happened? Can I help you somehow? I thought there was like a tell from like the little mermaid. Come, go to him. Come on. Want me to follow you? All right. No choice, I guess. Huh. He agreed. He's like, nope, no choice. A godlin who can't talk. This is going to be very interesting in terms of communication. Ooh. I hear... I hear them. Alright, Johnny. Let's go. Watch out! Oh, I got you. Come here! Come here. Let's go. Got you. I got one. All right, Johnny. Where you at? Come on. There you go. There you go. Come here. Perfect. See, not too bad, right? And I got some loot. Oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. All right, Johnny. Where are we going? Ooh, well, let me get that loot. Okay. You know I'm all about scavenging. Don't judge me. Thank you. Johnny, for someone who doesn't talk, you're very expressive, and I really appreciate that. It definitely helps with the context clues, too. This the place? Let me look around. Oh, yeah, I'd go all the way up there. Something's on the ledge. Something that'll get you your voice back. Okay, say less. I got you. Guess I gotta make this climb. Huh. <laughs> With all smiles, too. That's hilarious. Where do I... Okay, this used to have a bridge. Clearly, this ain't it, though. Hold on. Right here. Hopefully, this would lead me to... Yep, let's go. Jump, jump, there you go, come on. I wonder what it is. Wait, a nest? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A harpy? What? What is 
this. Come on. Thank you. Got one. Come on. I don't know what these creatures are, but they are a menace. I got one. Come on, Harpy. Climb down. Come on. Oh no, my sword. My sword is in bad shape. I gotta go in and probably fix it. At some weaponsmith or something. Ah, a bottle. Okay. So how do I climb down? That's the thing. Let me see. Hopefully this leads me to... Yep. Perfect. And I got you your voice back, Johnny. Drink away. Here. How much you want to bet that flicker? Oh. At least he's not cursing. Done celebrating. My he is such a kid. Words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank hmm. you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you. Now you help me. Where is Siri? Of altruism into a banal bartering of favors. Are you gaslighting me, little kid? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others, like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you as a prank or just to be mean. How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Oh yeah, he was panicking. Because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me. Aww. Do I look like a smudger to you? I don't even know what that is. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Well, I helped you, little boy, so... Well, sorry, godling, so don't worry about that. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. Ill. Okay. To the sunrise, okay. Get to the point. Suddenly, this is nasty. Heard a bang. So loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen haired. Just like you said. Wounded. Panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Okay. Claims the kids made me up. Me. Yeah, they told me that too. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Okay, my bad. Didn't mean to offend you. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Ooh. Depends on their whim. Mm. They're nasty. Although... 
They care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. So you mean to tell me, as we are talking, they can actually see us converse? And they can see you give me all the juicy details, huh? I definitely want to meet these crones. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Yes, thank you, Johnny. You are so... So kind. And I am so happy we have met. I really gotta fix my sword though. Okay, so I quickly looked at my inventory, and in order for me to fix it, I actually need to have silver. What? No. Come on. Am I really. Do I really have to fight them like this? Thank you. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Cut you in half. Oh, it's the water hag. Ew! With her titties hanging out, bro. Oh, she caught me. Horrible. All right. You want some of this? Come here. Come on. Thank you. I can't get over this water hag, though. Oh, I found a dead body. Why am I not surprised? Is there any loot? Thank you. And let me get the loot from here, too. Thank you. All right, Johnny. Where are we heading to? I forgot. This kid's a little slow. So, I'm not going to outrun him like that. Let me eat this so my health will be at full peak, too. Just in case. If I run into something. I'll take that. So, this way? Oh, finally! Good. We're finally at the hot. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Okay. You do what you need to do. Little Johnny softly gaze, fire waning pale. That's him <gasps> singing? Jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. Yo, I got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Why? Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Gran, come on. I need help. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Gran, please. please. It's important. She's my daughter. Fire. Gran, mm. please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Thank you. Come with me. You know what, Johnny? You're not so bad after all. I appreciate you. The fact that your only request and wish was to help me says a lot about you. Says a lot about you and your character. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.